Good morning, guys. Good morning, Christopher. Yeah. Yeah. He's excited. Just getting ready for our day. You know what it is. The dish day. Dish time. It's always dish day, isn't it? I don't have like a day off. But I gotta do them dishes. <coughs> Alright, I'm sorry. It's early. I don't have the best stuff in the morning. Everyone's a critic. But this critic literally poops on you. Sit down here and have some breakfast. It feels like torture when I eat in front of this kid. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to eat the camera. Unless you try really hard. But yeah, I mean, he doesn't eat breakfast until later, but I'm pretty confident he's hungry now because for one, we're blood, and I know what it looks like in a Cormany's eyes when they see food but can't eat it. It's the saddest thing in the world. I guess there are some things sadder, but it's like top three. It's like natural disaster, famine, and then hungry Cormonies. Got up a little early today so we can play. You wanna play some ball or throw it the other way? Ha <laughs> ha, I still got it. Boom, boom, boom. Uh oh, bringing a sword to a ball game. That seems like a foul. What are you looking at? Whoa, okay, 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 you can have the ball, you can have the ball. Here. <laughs> Gotta work on those catches, buddy. I'm sorry, I know you're young. When I was younger, I used to play a lot of dodgeball. My team won three tournaments in a row. We had a little dynasty going. It was pretty sweet. Ah! It was awesome. I loved dodgeball. I loved the movie too, but I loved the game. I don't have anywhere near the skill. However, the fat in my belly does help me catch fastballs a lot better. So it's like I sacrifice my arm for a catch. And you know, if you know your dodgeball rules, a catch is actually worth more than throwing because you get another player back in. Christopher finds this all so riveting. Oh, great story, Dad. Here, let me actually pick a good story from one of the thousand books I have. Or just destroy them. Typical Christopher, right? Hashtag classic. It is still really warm here in Columbus. It's crazy. I'm just wearing a lumberjack flannel because, you know, in my spare time, I like to look like I do physical activity, even though my body really reveals that I do not. It's date night, son. It's gonna be good. I think we have a coupon for a buy one, get one at Moe's Southwestern Grill. Moe's is decent. I feel like if you're gonna get that kind of burrito, Chipotle, even with the salmonella whatever e coli disease you get from there i mean e coli adds flavor so and e coli is cheaper than guac i mean guac is like a dollar fifty extra whereas e coli is free so come on but i'm not saying i think mose is disgusting mose is pretty good and you get chips as a side but i don't know i feel like if i'm gonna go out for mexican on date night like we did a, a few weeks ago i want that kind of experience i want like the free chips and salsa I want a big plate of beans and rice, you know, healthy stuff. Diet update, I have lost 10 pounds. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Not that I don't wanna keep going, I definitely wanna keep going. In fact, it's very common when I do these diets that I lose a decent amount of weight pretty fast. It's when it gets past that kind of like 20 pounds area that it becomes much harder because I have to keep decreasing my calories. I also did an update last vlog about how I did not get the Iron Fist roll. However, I have not seen anything else online since that one article. So that could have been wrong. I feel like if this guy would have been cast already, it would have been told. So maybe we should keep sharing the Iron Fist audition, tweeting it at Marvel, you know, keeping it real. Also, there's probably a lot of new people to this channel now. Uh, subs went up a good amount recently, and I think that's, uh, and thanks a lot to another vlogger named Dread Guy Vlogs. He's really good, I like his stuff. Um, he tweeted out uh, my information, so I really appreciate that, and I appreciate everyone who favored and retweeted that. That's, that's really cool. I don't vlog every day. Uh, I try to vlog every Saturday and Sunday, and every Wednesday, that's like my definite uh, so that means obviously you get a vlog on Thursday, you get a vlog on Sunday and Monday. 
Uh, those are like the definite days I've committed to vlogging. I also try to vlog extra days when I can. My life just really isn't that interesting. I, I, like I said, I sit in a cubicle a lot. Now I did take off March 25th to go see Batman and Superman, Batman v Superman um, that day. So maybe I'll vlog that. I will surely vlog that to tell you my reaction. OMG. And you got Deadpool coming up, so I don't think I'll take off work for that, but I'll definitely see it that weekend, I think. Definitely see it, I think. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a real clear statement there. Definitely gonna happen, maybe. But, again, thank you to all the new viewers. Thank you to the consistent viewers who have been with me for a while. It's awesome. I, you guys are great. I, I owe it all to you, and definitely a lot to Roman, too. I would not have been where I am now. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, man. It's I'm lucky. There's no doubt about that. And I think if you think about it today, you could probably figure out a way that you're lucky too. Well, I have arrived at work, so I will see you soon. Headed home now, getting ready to start the date night. Well, actually, it's going to start a little bit later, but we have a sitter coming, so that's good. But I had a great day at work, only because of one thing. I got tickets to Deadpool tomorrow. Mmm, pre-screening tickets, boy. Yee! Yes, that's going to be awesome. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Whew. You know, like many others, when Deadpool was in Wolverine Origins, ugh, that was not good. And then when I saw the test footage a few years back at Comic-Con with Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, man, that, that gave us hope. And this movie, the trailers, they look awesome. I'm so pumped. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Fun times. Maybe a few friends are going to come. OMG. So anyway, got to concentrate on date night tonight, though. That's totally different ball game so uh, no Deadpool tonight but I'll probably be thinking of Deadpool the whole time so those tickets are for tomorrow so this vlog will go up tomorrow so by the time you're watching this vlog it's possible that I'm thinking and getting excited about seeing the Deadpool movie yeah think about that I would make a reaction video to the Deadpool movie after I see it but the fine brothers would sue me Ah, <laughs> topical. Lauren and I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I know we're both pretty tired right now. I guess I have a little bit of the adrenaline rush of getting free tickets. Which kind of shows how weak my standards are for joy. Oh, I got free tickets to a movie? Pfft, adrenaline. I don't know what we're going to do tonight besides dinner. We're probably really tired. I'd be surprised if we make it to 10 o'clock. Yeah, parenthood. I heard someone's having a rough day. Huh? How's your day? Yeah. Oh. You can see from the puffy eyes he's been crying. What's wrong? Whoa. You want to play? Don't hell Hitler. Wearing your track suit? You going for a workout? Just want to play with the destruction derby. What can I destroy? All right, Christopher's calmed down now that he's at his zoo. And you like my little hand puppet? <laughs> nope, just annoying. Great. Check out this sweet hand puppet. I worked so hard at Lauren and going and picking up the free offer from somebody. Hard work pays off. Any likeness to the Sesame Street Elmo character is purely coincidental. So these two were causing trouble for Lauren today. Is that right, Lauren? Who was worse? The baby. The baby. What were you doing? And why weren't you taking care of him? Well, he's he's going to escape the consequence, Ike, and then you'll be the one who gets punished. Oh, he's out of here, too. We played some ball this morning. You still want to play? Sweet. Good game. I think I won. Nice throw. Bad catch. Oh my god. Oh, now you got that. It's a madhouse in here. Christopher. Thank you. Na -na -na -na. Not Elmo. This is Nelmo, not Elmo. <laughs> not my best joke. Dude, get the ball. A little help? It's over there. You're closer still, kinda. We have rules in this house. You hit it, you get it. 
Don't ignore me. I'm so mad. Oh yeah, you think you're madder than me? Ah. 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 So someone's about to go to bed soon. He's had a little fussy day. But we love him very much. Good throw. That's what you do with books. You throw them. You learn so fast. Is that your music? I don't remember putting that on my iPod. You're so tired. What'd you feed this kid today? Too much food, I guess. Yeah. You're Corbinny, that's what we do. All right, out of the house. I think Lauren enjoys this more. Not that she doesn't love Christopher, but man, it sounded like a hard day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna get some Moe's up in here. I don't even remember the last time we had Moe's. But it's not really healthy for you. No, but it's healthy for our wallet. Our wallet will not lose weight. I guess that's not healthy. Whatever, dude, we're eating it. Oh, is that cop pulling that dude over? Oh, God. oh he without a doubt is, he just honked him. Yeah, he's definitely pulling that guy over. He's beating at him. Why doesn't he have his lights on? Oh, he's not. He's not pulling him over. Wow. Why did he beep at him? Because he's a jerk cop. And if you're watching this jerk cop, Lauren told me to say that. And her license plate is. Yes. <laughs> I talk a lot of crap about the cops in our neighborhood, but I've never once been pulled over by him. And it's not Columbus City cops. Those guys are fine. It's this other suburb near us. Uh, but yeah, I've... I've never actually, I lived in this suburb too when I was younger and I never got pulled over. No way, you were with me and I got pulled over on Memorial Day mm -hmm. afternoon because they, they pulled me over because they said I was speeding, which I definitely wasn't. They were just doing random uh, drunk driving tests, which is fine. But I mean, 12 in the afternoon? Man, what a great Memorial Day. I'm gonna get wasted before noon. I'm sure it's happened. Oh, we forgot to brush the baby's teeth. Oh, the baby's tooth. He is six. Six now? I thought he only had it four. He's had those other two for a while now. So he's got two up top and two at the bottom? He has That's four, four on the top. He has four on the top? I'm a terrible father. Don't you see when he laughs? I guess I never make him laugh That's anymore. Oh. You make him cry, you should see him then. <laughs> I wasn't the one who was with him all day making him cry. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's what Lauren does when she doesn't have an argument, but she wants you to know she's not happy with you. Mm. Ew. That's how you sound. Mm. That hurts. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Yeah, I don't sound like that. Yeah, I don't sound like that. I don't have a sound. That's how you sound. So, kind of breaking diet here, although it's not that bad. The chili con queso is. I don't know what she's talking about. But all the plethora of salsas. Let's Cut the crap, all right? Oh. I love you. I'm always nice to her when there's food. That's why we had so much food at our wedding. I could say my vows on a full stomach. No witty retort, Lauren? Well, that is going to do it for us today, guys. But thanks so much for watching, and I have a really cool thing to show you. Like, if you remember a few months back for Halloween, I was Iron Man, and the costume was phenomenal. Like, it looked, like, straight out of the movie. Well, I got a new addition to it, and you are going to lose your mind when you see how good this is. Take a look. Oh, my God. I look just like Iron Man. This is so crazy. That's kind of a weird sucker. It's a sucker, by the way. I'm not actually gonna finish it, it's bad for my diet. But that is so crazy. Like, why was someone like, you know what suckers need? The mouths of superheroes. Well, apparently they got made and now I have one, so who's the sucker now? The creator's the sucker, this is weird. We got this in a bargain bin, no one wants this. <laughs> Pretty fun day today. Getting Deadpool tickets is always great and then Hanging out with my lovely lady, seeing my son. Just a lot of fun. That kind of rhymed. That was unintentional, I promise. Again, I want to thank all the new subscribers, and I want to thank all the old subscribers, too. Old, like this channel's like eight months old. I have no idea how old it is. I should do the math, but math isn't my strength. But I want to thank everyone. Just everyone. How about that? A blanket statement. Everyone. All of you guys for joining. 
that's the real cool thing about the community that YouTube has built. It's really encouraging and inspiring to just do, create, and make content. And uh, that's awesome. So I feel very hashtag blessed to be a part of that. And I look forward to uh, getting to know you guys more as you get to see me. We will see you next time in whatever, dude.